What's going on? Thanks for tuning into the Impact Lounge. You have myself, Ro the Great, and I will be reviewing Explosion. If this is your first time listening, I want to say welcome, as well as go ahead and please hit that subscribe button, as well as give a thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, be sure to drop a comment, leave your feedback. You guys' feedback is much appreciated. Lastly, be sure to check out the other content on the channel. There's some excellent stuff, news, reviews, etc. So be sure to check those out, give thumbs up, thumbs down, and share your thoughts on those as well. Very well. So let's get into the explosion. Our feature match for this week was Alicia Edwards versus LVN. I'm guessing this is LVN's last match with Impact, if I'm not mistaken, because we haven't seen her since she dropped the Knockouts Championship to Ali. So one would assume this is the final one. But as far as this match, I want to say it seems like this was just a way to, I don't want to say reintroduce Alicia, but probably more in lines of as an actual Knockouts competitor, as opposed to her just being eddie edwards wife so and i I thought that was cool because we've only seen her this is has to be the second time she's wrestled in impact with slammerversary being her first for those of you don't remember she tagged with eddie edwards and they went against davy richards and angelina love um it was a great match by the way i recommend you guys check that out but yeah and i think explosion not just for her but for a lot of these uh, wrestlers on the roster who aren't able to get tv time at the moment just with everything that's going on and impact um you know this is a you know great opportunity for them to to work on as far as the match um nothing special um like i said i think it was just used to kind of uh showcase alicia a little bit um there was one low spot where she had went for a crossbody and like she had i guess mistimed it but like <laughs> she landed on like the ankles almost and stuff so that was kind of it's kind of a down point but she gets to win with a flat liner after reversing laura vanessa's van prettier so i guess that's the finish that she's using but she gets a one two three so that's a good win for her um, hopefully they have some kind of plans for because the knockout division at the moment is relatively thin and you know I guess you could argue a lot of the divisions are thin so any of these fresh faces that we can get you know I'm all on board and um, this week they did something different I mean I kind of wish they didn't but instead of doing the around the ring where they go around with a wrestler and you kind of get to know a wrestler out of character on a personal level which I, I find it be very fascinating. They were talking about the redemption. Well, they actually showed a video package, The Road to Redemption, featuring uh, Austin Aries and Patron. And what stinks about this is, for those of you, and I'm sure everyone's well aware by now, but with El Patron being released, you know, to see all this and the stuff leading up to it. I mean, I got to say, man, they... You know, it was something that was thrown together and it was starting to get me really kind of engage, engaged in the feud between these two and for it to happen like that. But I think the replacements uh, being uh, Pentagon and Phoenix, I think uh, will make up for it. So, yeah, that's that's what we got instead of around the ring. Our flashback match or GWN match we get we got this time was it was an x division escape match with generation me uh max buck jeremy buck versus robbie e versus chris saban versus jay lethal versus amazing red versus suicide versus kendrick uh, generation me by the way um they were against each other as well it was every man for himself um one question i want to propose to you listeners um, Generation Me, for those of you who might not know, where, where are the Young Bucks? Well, um, this uh, this pay per view event was No Surrender 2011. But my my question for you listeners is, what went wrong with um, the Young Bucks and TNA? Why do you guys feel like they didn't get over as as over as they are now? You know, I thought at, during that time when they were signed, you know, they were going to be a big deal and. I can't recall if during that time we were still suffering from the Bischoff-Hogan era, 
but I wonder what what went wrong, and I want to know your guys' thoughts. So yeah, as far as this match, this was your classic um, TNA X Division match where you got everyone. Um, they go in, they get their stuff in, they hit a finisher, and since it was an elimination, they hit a finisher. Someone gets eliminated. Um, after it got down to the last two in typical TNA fashion. They instead of it being a elimination match where pinfall submission, it's the uh to way to win you gotta climb the cage, and <laughs> the one thing that I used to hate and I I know they don't do it as much now but TNA they'll have these matches they'll take like a basic match and put the weirdest twist to it like a over the top rope battle royal but the last two have to pin each other <laughs> it's 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 pretty bizarre but you know I guess that's their way of putting a touch on it. But anyways, the winner of this match was Max Buck, I believe. I'm um, sorry, I don't know <laughs> which is which. Um, but yeah, I believe it was Max Buck. But, you know, go ahead and check it out. I mean, it, it was a good match. Um, <laughs> what I found to be funny was Robbie E. This is when Jersey Shore was like really hot. So, you know, his gimmick actually was relevant. You know, you fast forward up until his last years in Impact. He was still kind of having some sort of resemblance to the gimmick. And, you know, the show had been off the air for some time. So I thought I found that to be funny. But it was an excellent match, though. So I recommend you guys check it out. That's uh, No Surrender 2011. Okay. And then finally, our Impact Rewind for the week is uh, Cage versus Lashley 2. And, man, I got to say this. I mean... I jumped the gun on the first one because I was disappointed in the finish just because I thought Lashley was done with the company, but this made up for it. I mean, I think the only downside was that this wasn't advertised as a rematch, and I remember when it aired, I was like, what the heck, because I had thought Lashley was gone. I don't know. We all know now, you know, he's on another network, so, you know, kudos to him. You know, I thank him for his contributions, but yeah, check this match out, man. Brian Cage, man. I'm glad they were able to get him on the Impact roster, and I look forward to seeing the things that he's able to do under this new regime. Um, I think there's big things in his future because he's a talented guy. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's the Explosion Review. Thanks for listening, and uh, until next time, you guys take care.